Do you wanna start creating games in your phone? Thanks to Godot, that's now possible. So let's quickly imagine the possibilities. You may be at the beach, in a friend's house or wherever and you will be able to create games from the comfortability of your hand. Simply amazing. Today you will learn the step by step of how to download Godot 4 in your device, set up a project and start creating it. Now let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is to enter uh, to the Gudo Engine official website, uh, this is GudoEngine.org. Uh, um, now uh, here we want to download the version for Android, so we are going to click in um, the top right bottom, and here we are going to click where it says download uh, at the bottom of the page. Uh, here we can download Gudo for uh, for Linux and for all the platforms. Uh, so here we will just uh, scroll down and here we will see uh, the sections so party platforms um, here we are going to select Android and here we can download uh, the version from uh, the Play Store uh, or we can also download the APK uh, version uh, the thing is that if you download the Doom Engine uh, from the Play Store you would be able to actually update it um, whereas if you download the APK, uh, you will have to constantly be updating it. Uh, I mean, uh, coming again back to the official website and download the, the APK again. So uh, if you want to always be updating um, the Guto engine and always uh, receiving the new updates, I would really recommend you to download the Guto engine from the Play Store. So we are going to click in this case on the first link. And here we have Gujo Editor 4 Early Access. As you can see, this is a Gujo 4 version. Um, but also, um, I believe we could also download a Gujo 3. Uh, so, for example, let's just quickly close this. Um, we have here for the LTS version. LTS uh, stands for Long Term Support version. We can download a uh, Gudo 3. So let's click where it says download Gudo 3. And uh, here again we have download Gudo 3 for Linux or for other platforms. We are going to scroll down until Android and we'll click there. And we can download Gudo Engine from the Play Store or again the APK. In my case, I'm going to download uh, the Play Store. And we have here Gudo Editor 3 early access. So I'm going to install this good do it or uh, three this is an early access version so that's maybe a reason why uh, you maybe find uh, some errors and also i'm going to come back here and um i will also download a uh, good do four just to uh, to be trying out both versions so again i'm going to go here to download I'm going to scroll down a little bit and here in support platforms, uh, download Gudo 4 for Android, Play Store, and I'm going to download it. So uh, here I have both versions of Gudo. Uh, the first one here is Gudo 4, this is Gudo 4, and uh, this one is uh, Gudo Editor 3. So firstly, I'm going to be trying out uh, Gudo 4. I'm not going to cut uh, any part uh, of the video so that you see everything. Uh, firstly, uh, it requires you to uh, give Gudo file access, so I am actually going to give it to both versions. And um, so here it should start uh, loading uh, Gudo 4. Currently, you are seeing a black screen because um, it's loading. Okay, and here we have. Uh, you currently don't have any projects, would you like to explore official example projects in the asset library? Okay, um, no, I'm not going to use any, any template. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to name it tutorial, for example. And I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, there is already a folder in this file with a specified name, so uh, I will put another name. That's right. Um, of course, you can change the project path, the renderer, uh, and everything. But I'm just going to create it uh, with the um, default settings.
But okay, uh, here we have it. Uh, the 3D environment is completely black, I don't know why, but if I change to 2D... Okay, yes, this... Wow, this is not very laggy, I believe. We have the 3D environment, the 2D environment, the script, and the asset library. Uh, I'm just going to create a 2D scene. I'm going to uh, rename this node. Let's see if I can. Um, okay, here I am. And I'm going to call, for example, main. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to attach a script to this main game object. Uh, I'm going to select the empty uh, script template. And here, for example, uh, I'm going to create the uh, ready function as I am in a mobile Well, <laughs> It's a bit difficult. And here I'm going to print, uh, print, for example, hello, uh, we are, are in Gujo 4 in Android, for example. Here we are. I don't like that white screen that sometimes shows up. You can see that. I don't know why that happens. Um, also, I would like to save this scene, save scene. I have to get the name, I will leave it as main, okay? Uh, yes, as you can see, for example, if I zoom out or in, uh, it's not very light, it, it actually works very fine. If I'm changing windows, it also works perfectly. So now I'm going to press play. I have to select a main scene, so I'm going to select the current, and now, The scene is completely, yes, exactly. We don't have anything here. And I don't know how to close the game. Maybe if I come back, nope. Mm, okay, yeah. And I have here uh, some errors, warnings. I don't know why they happen, but here in the console, uh, you can see, hello, we are on Godot 4, the message we printed before. So in this version, everything is working perfectly. Uh, to make something uh, let's say more complex just to try this thing I'm going to create a sprite right and uh, the texture uh, it's going to be just the icon nice I'm going to try to move it with the move tool yes but this is in a mobile phone it's very difficult so maybe if I zoom in mm, Okay, I will move it from the transform because it's very difficult. Then I'm going to play again and let's see if we can actually uh, see that game object on screen. And maybe if you have a more powerful device because I am in a very low in a very low device, if you have even more powerful, maybe uh, you will be able to see more things. But okay, yes, here uh, everything seems to be working perfectly fine. So let's just now go to the other version of Gujo. Recently, uh, we used uh, Gujo 4, but now uh, we are going to be using uh, Gujo 3. So again, I'm not going to cut the video or anything uh, so that you see the loading times and everything. Again, we have this message. I'm going to cancel that. And I will create a new project with a random name. I'll create a new project. I know what happened there. I'm going to create a folder. Here I only have uh, two possibilities of render because it is Gujo 3. And in Gujo 4 we have more options of renderer. I'm going to click on create an edit. And let's see. Um, let's check if the loading times are different from Gujo 3 and Gujo 4. Uh, I tried nearly anything in order to make it work. The, I mean, the version 3 of Gojo in my mobile, and I don't know why uh, it doesn't work in any way. I've tried, I tried restarting my phone, uh, I tried restarting Gojo many times, and uh, I can't make it work. But well, uh, for example, here on the web page, of course, uh, it says the Android editor is currently in an experimental stage. So of course there are going to be a lot of errors and maybe this is an error because of my phone. Um, so the best thing you could do is to actually try this uh, by yourself. 
also here Gujo uh, tells you to uh, it recommends you to uh, use a hardware keyboard and mouse and there are a lot of known issues so finally is it really worth I believe that if you can actually connect a mouse and a keyboard and you want to start creating games or experimenting with game development game development yeah maybe it's useful uh, but then if you actually uh, want to export your games uh, you want to create powerful and amazing things obviously you are going to be limited uh, by your phone but obviously consider that uh, I believe Gujo is the only powerful and known engine that is actually on mobiles so the fact that they are trying to adapt this engine uh, to a mobile is very interesting and as everything related to technology uh, they are always updating these things for example I remember that some months ago when I made a similar video to this one the only uh, way to download Gujo was from the, uh, from the APK version you couldn't download it from the Play Store so uh, anyway, the best thing you could do is to try both versions, I mean Gujo 3 and Gujo 4 by yourself and also I would be really glad if you uh, in the comments uh, write me what you think about these versions, if both work on your mobile because you've seen that Gujo 4 in my mobile worked perfectly but then Gujo 3 couldn't even open a project. If you wanna continue seeing more content about Good Joe, Unity, game development, please subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one and bye bye.